did it come from? I wonder what it's called. I'm called a banter. What? Huh? The horse can talk? Yes, I can. Uh, wow. <laughs> Angola. Angola. Benin. Benin. Botswana. Botswana. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Burundi. Burundi. Cameroon. Cameroon. Cape Verde. Cape Verde. Yes, they do. See the Emir over there. From one to ten? Papa made lunch today. 
Me too. Mmm. The love fries, my favorite. <laughs> Papa Papa really makes the best jello mm. fries. Mm? Fino, look. Adeola is also eating jello mm. fries. Hmm. Hmm. It looks like you're not the only one that loves jello fries. <laughs> you may be right. Look. <gasps> Everyone is eating jello fries. But their own looks different. That one has different things inside. Hello, Abubaka. Hello, Fino. Is that jello fries that you are eating? Yes, my mommy made it for me. But it looks funny. No, it doesn't. It's yours that looks funny. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Well, I think mine looks delicious. It has plenty of vegetables inside. Well, mine has plenty tomato sauce inside. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Mm, can I try some of your own? Okay. Mmm, that is really nice. <laughs> Do you want to try my own? Yes, please. Mmm. <gasps> huh? Wow. Mm. Wow. Bino. I forgot to tell you, I love jello fries with a lot of pepper. Oh. Funny watching you run around like you were on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that there were different types of jello fries. Me too. I wonder where jello fries comes from. Hey, I wish Zina was here. Hello. Did I hear someone call my name? Zina. Hello, Bino and Fino. Hello, Zina. Hmm. Bino, what's on your mind? Don't mind him, Zina. All he has been thinking about is jello fries. Jello fries? Well, during lunch, I saw children eating different types of jello fries. And I was wondering, where does jello fries come from? Oh, that's a good question. Well, Jello fries is one of the most common dishes in Africa. The whole of Africa? 
No, just Western Africa. Countries like Gambia, Senegal, Ghana, Syria alone, Nigeria, Togo, Liberia, Mali, Ivory Coast, and even the southern Cameroon. Wow! It's a common favorite at ceremonies, such as weddings, graduations, and birthdays, and is mostly cooked with local vegetables. I like vegetables. I prefer chicken in my jollof rice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kids, different areas in West Africa have their own local names for jollof rice and their own special ingredients. Why do they call it jollof? <laughs> funny. <laughs> the name sounds funny. <laughs> the name jollof comes from the name of the Wolof people from the Senegambian area of West Africa, which was once ruled by the Jollof Empire. It includes countries like Senegal and Gambia. That's amazing! I wonder how the Jollof Empire looked like. Why wonder about something when you can just go and see it? Let's go and see what the Jollof Empire looked like. That would be amazing, <laughs> Zina! <laughs> Bino! <laughs> now, ooh, ooh. everyone, hold <laughs> hands. Don't forget to close your eyes and away we go! What do you think? I think it's amazing. There are so many people here. Wait. What is that sweet smell? <laughs> oh yes, it is. The dish is made up of rice, tomatoes, palm oil, onions, salt, spices and chili peppers. Wow! Other ingredients can be added such as vegetables, meat or fish. Why is it red sometimes? That is because of the tomato paste and red palm oil used when you cook jollof rice. Oh, that explains a lot. Like why Papa Papa's jollof rice is red and why the boy in school's own is a different color. That's right, kids. The recipe differs from one region to another. But jollof rice was very popular because the traders sold it throughout the whole of West Africa. I would love to have a taste. Me too. Can we, Zina? Of course you can. Yes, it's so amazing. <laughs> Zina, who has the best jello fries to do? Oh, nobody knows. Everybody thinks their own jello fries is the best. The Nigerians think theirs is the best. 
the Ghanaians think this is the best. So do the Gambians and of course the Senegalese. So children, we don't know which jollof rice is the best. It really doesn't matter. They are all delicious. Yes, they are. So you are saying it's all about how they make it, not that any one version is the best? That's right. <laughs> hmm. What is it, Bino? I know who has the best jollof rice. Who? Papa, Papa. Papa Papa's is the best in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs>
This one's big. Whoa! Run, 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 run. I'm a mermaid! <laughs> it didn't catch me. It didn't catch me. <laughs> me too. Let's go again, Fino. <laughs> Okay, 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 kids. No, 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 no. That's it, kids. No more playing catch with the waves. What's mommy? Come on, children. Let's go sit under the umbrella for a while. Then we can come back and play with the waves. Can't we play catch with the waves without you, daddy? Absolutely not. It's not safe for kids to play alone by the sea. Come on. Let's relax a little. We can get some nice coconut drinks. Mommy, can we play with the sand? Please, please. Mm. I suppose that's all right. But you mustn't go anywhere near the water, okay? Okay, okay Daddy. Daddy. A horse! Hmm. Where did it come from? I wonder what it's called. I'm called a banta. What? Huh? The horse can't talk? Yes, I can. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Like my little friend Banta. He's a beautiful horse, Zina. A stallion. Oh no, no, no. I'm still a colt. What's that? That's a young male horse, about a year old. Wow, you look big for a one year old Banta. Horses are big animals. Yes, I wonder what you're going to be when you grow up. All right, all right, kids. Time out. I have a suggestion. Why don't we ask Banta what he would like to be when he grows up and be? A polo horse, of course. Mm -mm. Well, being a polo horse is great for you, but that's not what I want to be. I told you. He wants to be a police horse. Right, Banta? Police horses look really smart, but I don't want to be a police horse either. What would you like to be when you grow up, Banta? I want to be in the Doba, just like my grandfather. A what? what? Oh yes, 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 a Doba. Oh, that's a very colorful and energetic one, Banta. Well done. Uh, what's a Doba? Oh. It's a beautiful festival that takes place in cities of northern Nigeria, like Kano and Katsina. And there are horses in it? Yes, 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 yes. A lot of horses, gorgeously dressed, looking splendid. <laughs> wow, 
I would like to see a Durban festival. <laughs> Me too. Well, <laughs> that sounds like a wish I can't ignore. You mean you take us to see a Durban? Yes, I will. Now, close your eyes so Ooh. I can take you there. <laughs> Here we go. Doba is an old festival. It used to be about preparing for war hundreds of years ago. Really? But now, it's all about peaceful celebrations. It takes place after the Salah Day celebration. What happens in Adoba, Zina? First, there's a colorful procession which the Emmy leads with a lot of horses and riders. What's a procession? It's like a parade. Parade? Yes, a parade of horses and riders, beautifully dressed. Why do we see me in a parade after all? <laughs> Zina, is that all they do in the Doba Festival parade? <laughs> oh no! It gets really exciting when the riders show off their skills. Will the horses go very, very <laughs> fast? Yes, sometimes even faster than the polar horses. Aha! Fanta wants to go really, really fast. Uh, look, Zina, people are starting to arrive. Mm -hmm. People from all over the world come for the festival. This place is going to be filled up very soon. Just watch. Wow! What was that? That is the traditional house our horn. The kakaki. I think the procession is coming. Great! I can't wait to see it. Uh, look, Bino. The horses are all oh. dressed up. Whoa! They look amazing! Yes, they do. See the Emir over there. Wow, what a parade! Yay! Yippee! <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> was so cool. What are they doing, Zina? They are showing off how well they can ride their horses. They're going too fast. I wish I could show off too. You don't even have a horse. Good. That's so not really true. Banta! Wow, Banta, you look great. Well, <laughs> thank you, Vino. I'm so glad you could be in the Doba. Thank you, Fino. Would you like to be my rider? Really? If you don't mind. Of course not. Oh. <laughs> wow, you look like the Doba horse riders, Fino. Oh, you look gorgeous, my darling. Shall we? Yes, please. That was amazing, Zina. Doba is a beautiful festival. Mm -hmm. I like all the colors. Banta is going to make a perfect <laughs> Doba horse. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs>
Bino and Fino, where have you been in Africa? Which African countries would you like to go to? Okay, there are five regions in Africa, namely North Africa, East Africa, South Africa, West Africa, and Central Africa. Now, we are going to list them alphabetically from A to Z. Are you ready? Yes! Let's go. Algeria, Algeria, Angola, Angola, Benin, Benin, Botswana, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Burundi, Cameroon, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Cape Verde, Chad, Chad, Congo, Congo, Comoros, Comoros, Côte d'Ivoire, Côte d'Ivoire, Central African Republic. Ethiopia, Gabon, Gabon, Gambia, Gambia, Ghana, Ghana, Guinea, Guinea, Guinea Bissau, Guinea Bissau, Kenya, Kenya, Lesotho, Lesotho, Liberia, Liberia, Libya, Libya, Madagascar, Madagascar, Malawi, Malawi, Mali. Mauritius, Morocco, Morocco, Mozambique, Mozambique, Namibia, Namibia, Niger, Niger, Nigeria, Nigeria, Republic of Congo, Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Rwanda, Senegal, Senegal, Seychelles, Seychelles, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, Somalia, Somalia, South Africa, South Africa, Sudan, Sudan. South Sudan, South Sudan, South Omea Principe, South Omea Principe, Tanzania, Tanzania, Togo, Togo, Tunisia, Tunisia, Uganda, Uganda, Zambia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Wonderful, Bino and Fino, you did a great job. Clap for yourselves. us the importance of being a good person. I want to be a good person. Me too, mama, mama. <laughs> That's good, my little dears. Mama, mama. Yes, my dear. Where do you get all your stories from? Can you keep a secret? Yes, mama, mama. All my stories were passed down to me from my father, who heard it from his mother. That is how our ancestors, the people who came before us, kept their stories through storytelling. Wow! That's right! 
one of our ancestors was even a griot. What a griot? God, griot. A griot is just another word for storyteller or a keeper of a particular family's history or a particular people's history through stories and songs. Does that mean that you know all of our family history? Uh, in a way, yes I do. Wow! Mama, Mama, you must have a very big brain. <laughs> Not really, Bino. It's just important for me to remember. So, I try my best to. Mama, Mama, so a grot? Greek! Good! <laughs> 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 so a griot is a storyteller that keeps history. That's right. A griot is a West African storyteller, singer, musician, and oral historian. The griot keeps records of all the births, deaths, and marriages through generations of a village or a family. The griot plays an important role in West African society. That's amazing! Mm. Griots originated in the 13th century in the Mande Empire of Mali. For centuries, the griots have told and retold the history of the empire, keeping their stories and traditions alive. They sometimes tell their stories through music using instruments such as the ngoni, the kora, or the balafon. If you are a griot, it is your responsibility to pass on what you have been taught so that the family stories may never be lost or forgotten. It is a very important responsibility. That is kind of what you do, Mama Mama, isn't it? Well... I guess you're right. So I you a griot, Mama Mama? I like to think of myself as a griot. The only difference is that I don't sing, but I love to tell stories. And I think it's important to pass down the history and culture to the next generation. That's us. Right again, Bino. <laughs> Does that mean that we will be griots one day? I would like to think so. It is important to know your history and to protect your culture, especially that of your family. Then I'll be a griot one day. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, children. That's enough of Mama Mama's stories. Because it's bedtime. But Mom! <laughs> It's already late. I don't want you tired for school tomorrow. Aww. Okay, children, you had your mother. I can't wait to hear more of your stories tomorrow. Me too. <laughs> okay, children, you will. Good night, my dears. Good night, Mama Mama. Good night, Bino. Good night, Fino. Good night, Mom. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. everyone. Our class is going to look so beautiful for the holiday. Who is looking forward to the holiday like me? Me, 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 me. Great. Where are you going to spend your holiday? Who wants to share? I'm going to
to spend the holiday at my cousin's home in Port Harcourt. They have a pool. I will go to Yebe with my mom and dad to visit my grandma. What about you, Bino and Fino? Where will you be spending your holiday? We don't know yet. What about you, Zinab? Where will you go? Well, I'd like to go on a trip to some exciting places in Africa. Like where, Miss Zainab? <laughs> I'd like to visit the Okavango Delta in the southern part of Africa. Or climb Kilimanjaro. Climb oh, what? what? <laughs> the Kilimanjaro. It's the highest point in Africa. Mount Kilimanjaro is in Tanzania. We'll go with you. <laughs> yes, we yes, 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 Take us with you. Please, please, please. please, please. <laughs> Afternoon to you too, holiday people. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome, dear. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, you made lunch. <laughs> yes, I did. And it's my special semovita and okra soup. <laughs> so, food is ready. Going in arts and civic education. And I got the highest in math and spelling, Daddy. Your dad and I are very proud of you, children. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you, Mommy. Do you know what? Hmm? I'll take you out for a treat. <laughs> How about um, I buy you some ice cream and after that we go and watch a movie? <laughs> We want to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm. Where would you like to go? We want to go to Ubercargo Delta. Mm. No, Daddy. Actually, you should take us to climb Mount Kili... Kilimanjaro. Oh, my. First of all, Fino, it's called the Okavango, mm -hmm. not Ovacago. Mm -hmm. It's in Botswana. It would be wonderful to go there, but we can't go this holiday. <laughs> we can't go to Mount Kilimanjaro either. I wonder what it would be like to climb the highest point in the whole of <laughs> Africa. Do you think it's higher than um, Mommy's office? Hmm? <laughs> of course it is. Hello! <laughs> Zina! So Mount Kilimanjaro is higher than Mommy's office? Yep. Wow, that's really, really, 
really <laughs> high up. Can you touch the cloud up there? Oh yes, and it's also very cold. So we have to dress up nice and warm for the climb. The, the climb? climb? Wouldn't you just love to stand on top of Africa? <laughs> yes, 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 Nina. yes, Nina. Here we go. <laughs> I give you Mount Kilimanjaro! Wow! Ooh, ooh. We must be in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. How did you know that? Museum said it's where Kilimanjaro is. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> this really tall fellow, Kilimanjaro, is a freestanding mountain. What's a freestanding mountain, Zina? You see, most mountains are found together. But some special mountain like Kilimanjaro are found alone. Oh, I see. <laughs> in fact, the Kilimanjaro is the highest freestanding mountain in the whole world. <gasps> okay, people, let's get going. No. Wow. wow. Yes, my lovelies. It gets so cold up here that it snows. <laughs> Come here, you two. Uh -oh. Yay! Bingo! Wonderful, Zina. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Zina. You're welcome, my lovelies. Next time, you'll take us to the Okavango, Zina. No problem. It will be my pleasure. Now, it's time to go home. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 